Hello everybody, my name is Mahajas Pande, and thanks for joining me. And in this course, we'll be building a convolutional neural network, which is a kind of uh, deep neural network, and we'll be using it for vision tasks, particularly for classifying handwritten digits. And so on the top left, you see kind of the computation graph that we're going to be building, and we have these convolution and pooling layers. And you can see that we get some pretty decent accuracy with uh, convolutional networks over just plain old neural networks. We get something around 99.3 uh, percent accuracy and then with that we have a really low loss and the way that these convolutional networks uh, work is that they have these com they apply convolution and they have these filters but instead of specifying the filter these the values of the, the kernels for the filters are actually learned and so here's some of the examples um, on the bottom row that just show some of the filters after you've trained the network for a long time and you kind of see that these somewhat correspond to uh, horizontal lines and edges or diagonal lines and so this is really cool because we didn't have to tell our network to look for these features. It learned uh, these features to look for. So what we're, what we're first going to be discussing is uh, deep learning and how it's different than just plain old uh, learning. We'll do it like a quick recap on neural networks as well. And uh, we'll be discussing a particular kind of deep learning that's really uh, nice for vision tasks, and that is convolutional neural networks. And so we kind of build them in layers, and so the two layers that I'm going to be discussing are the convolutional layer, which is probably the most important, hence the term convolutional neural network, and then the pooling layer, which is also pretty important. And then I'm going to talk about how we can uh, stack these kind of uh, sequentially into what's called an architecture. And then we'll be looking at a real-world architecture um, that was published in a paper uh, a few decades ago called LayNet. And uh, we'll also be getting into hyperparameter tuning, specifically with the learning rate. Because just it's going to take a long time if you 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 know want to get really good results with uh, accuracy, you probably shouldn't just randomly change um, hyperparameters, particularly the learning rate. You shouldn't just change that uh, willy nilly. There are ways to look at your loss function and say, well, hey, this is seems to have a really high learning rate, or maybe my learning rate is too low. And finally, we'll talk about how we can create some visualizations, in particular of the lower. A convolutional uh, layers and that's kind of the bottom row of filters that I showed you guys. So we've been making courses since 2012 and we're really excited to have you on board. Online courses are a great way to learn uh, new skills. Senva courses consist mainly of video lessons that you can watch at your own pace and as many times as you want. They also have downloadable source code and project files and they contain everything that we build uh, in the lessons. It's really recommended that you code along with me because I think that that's the best way to uh, learn is by learning by doing instead of learning by watching. And finally, we've seen that students who get the most out of these online courses are the same students who make kind of a weekly plan uh, and stick with it depending on, of course, your own availability and learning style. And remember that these video lectures you can watch and rewatch as many times uh, as you want. So it really gives you more flexibility to adapt to how you learn. At Zenvo, we've taught programming and game development to over 200,000 uh, students through over 50 courses since, since 2012. And, and some of these students have used the skills that they've learned in these courses to advance their careers, to start up a company, or to publish their own apps and games. So thanks again for joining, and I look forward to seeing all the cool stuff that you'll be building. But now without further ado, let's get started.